Okay, uh, problem 8.16. Uh, consider the optimization problem with uh, this squared a x x minus b as objective function. The a has a is a matrix uh, of size m by n. m is greater than n, greater than or equal to n. b is a vector of dimension m. So the first question is to show that this objective function is actually a quadratic function of x and write down the quadratic gradient inhibition of this matrix, uh, of this quadratic. Okay, so this is very, actually very uh, common in practice. The most of the quadratic functions are actually came from this form for some given a and b. Okay, and this is some. This is often called the least squares problem. To find the x, so usually the a and b are given, and we're supposed to find the x such that a x and b are as close as possible. So that's why we minimize the uh, the norm of their difference. But you minimize the norm is the same as minimizing the square of the norm, right? It doesn't change anything. Mm. Or it doesn't change the minimizer. So usually that's what we uh, people people do in practice. It's just uh, different uh, applications have different a and b. Okay, so why this is a quadratic function of a? It's pretty easy. You just uh, need to write it out. The f of x is ax minus b squared, and we know that this is the vector inside. So a square the norm of a vector is just the inner product of a vector with itself. So that's what we get. And then you can put this transpose inside. You can put transpose inside, and then you just break the square, break the parentheses, and you get this. Okay. So remember that there are two interaction terms, but they can they are actually the same. They are actually identical. So that's why we can combine them. To form this. Okay, now you can see that if I multiply this a transpose a by two and I have one half in the front, then this is a standard form, a standard quadratic term. Okay, so that means q equals to two a transpose a. And then here we have uh, b transpose a x. So the b transpose a x should be equal to the a transpose b transpose x. And this means that uh, this term is essentially just the inner product of x and the vector a transpose b, because a transpose b here is a vector, okay, same dimension as x. So it's inner product of the two vectors. And uh, I have another, uh, another two in the front, so I can combine them together, call it b prime. Uh, just to simplify notation, but uh, the purpose right now is as you can see, this is the standard uh, quadratic form, and the derivative or the gradient of f should be the, just the qx minus this b prime, whatever multiplied in front of x, and also the Haitian should be just q. Okay, so it's just a, called the qx minus b prime, and the q is that, the b is this, b prime is this. So uh, we got these two terms, but you can see that the two a transpose. Uh, is common for both terms, so I can track extract them out and I have this. Okay, so this is uh, usually easier to memorize. Um, by the way, uh, another way to memorize this is you just think that when we have like a x minus b, both a x and a x and b are all scalars. You know, in this case, when we take the derivative, this should be just a two times ax minus b times a, right? Or I can put a in the front, so it's 2a ax minus b. Okay, so if you have difficulty memorizing that, just think this example, then that is the same as this down below, except that a is a matrix, x and b are both vectors. Okay, so that's the uh, gradient, and the Haitian is just a 2a transpose a. All right, and then the second question is, uh, write, down, uh, write down the fixed step size gradient algorithm for solving this optimization problem. So that's pretty straightforward. Just uh, write down the gradient method with a constant step size alpha. And the gradient is something we know, right? We know the form, which is just this. So you can plug that in uh, with x equals to xk. So that's our form. So that's the uh, uh, fixed step with the method. So last question. Suppose we know the matrix A is just one, two. 
uh, find the largest range of values of problems such that the algorithm in the part two converts to a solution of the problem. So in this case, uh, we know that alpha needs to be between zero and the two over the largest eigenvalue of q. So now the q, the a is that, the q is two times a transpose a, so that means q is this. So the largest the largest eigenvalue apparently is, is eight. So the range should be two or zero between zero and two over eight, and that is zero and one over four.